In this video, I'll show you how a compressed air engine works and the difference between a compressed air engine and a four-stroke engine. So what happens in a four-stroke engine, you would have a carburetor on here and then the, the air-fuel mixture goes in through here. And then this here would be your exhaust. So the air-fuel mixture would come in this, as the piston lowered, this intake valve would open up to let the air fuel mixture in. Then this valve would close, this one would stay closed. And as the piston rise, it would compress the air fuel mixture. Valves are still closed. Then it would ignite the fuel uh, and the piston would go down and once the piston got to the bottom this valve would stay closed and this one here the exhaust valve would open up the exhaust would then get pushed out of the engine through where the muffler would be over here and this valve would stay closed. But after that, the cycle would repeat. But how a compressed air engine works is the compressed air comes in through the hose into this coupler, then into the valve, which lets me regulate the airflow. And then as the piston goes down, this valve, which is the inlet valve now, it used to be that was the exhaust, that was the intake, but I reconfigured it. So the compressed air comes in through the exhaust port instead of the intake port because what I found, found out when I was using uh, my compressed air engine with the air coming in through the inlet valve was what was happening was the v valve would always pop open whenever it was supposed to be closed because the air pressure was so high but now I have it since the exhaust valve has a heavier spring the compressed air comes in through the exhaust valve so that way the valve stays closed when I want it to stay closed. I'm back to how a compressed air engine works. So as the piston goes down, the intake valve stays open. Then, as the piston starts to rise up, the exhaust valve opens up and lets the exhaust out. Then once the piston gets to the top, the intake valve opens up again. Piston goes down. Then when it got to the bottom, the exhaust valve will open up, let the compressed air out. Now how I converted this engine to run on compressed air what I had to do was I had to pull off the carburetor, let the exhaust come out through where the carburetor used to be, and then I needed to connect a valve to where the exhaust port used to be to let the air come in, and also had to modify the camshaft, which is right here, because what happened before was the compressed air So what the camshaft used to look like was there was a lobe here for the exhaust and a lobe here for the intake. Sorry, other way around. This lobe here used to be for the intake and this lobe used to be for the exhaust. But I needed to add weld beads on this side 
and that side of the camshaft. That way it would turn it into a two, two stroke instead of a four stroke because you only have an intake and an exhaust. You don't have the compression and ignition cycles. And how I, how I modified it was I would add a bead of weld then I would grind down the lobe and I would put it in the engine spin the engine over to make sure I got the right timing and if the timing was off I'd pull it out, grind a bit more off keep doing that until I got the timing right and if you're wondering why I got these like a bump here and then this the, these two points here are really low same on the other side that's because I needed enough clearance so that way the camshaft would not hit the crankshaft otherwise the engine would uh, it would stop moving you wouldn't be able to spin it because it would get stuck but the engine engine works good now camshaft goes in there That's how a uh, compressed air engine works. Thanks for watching.